Welcome to an introduction to accounting brought to you by Parkbench Tutors. In this podcast we are going to look at how we set out an income statement using some basic information. In this case what I've done is put my information into three different sections here and I have a skeleton for an income statement on this side so essentially what I'm going to try and do is take the relevant figures from these p three sections and put those figures into their appropriate places on the income statement or the trading profit and loss account or whatever else you wish to call it. Now you can see that I've set up this income statement with all zeros for the moment but what I've also done, if we just highlight one or two cells, is I've actually put some formula in as well so that in this case the cost of goods sold I've said is equal to G39 plus G40 minus G41 which means I'm saying cost of goods sold is equal to inventory at the start of the period add the purchases of goods subtract the inventory at the end of the period and I have the cost of goods sold gross profit will be equal to the sales revenue less the cost of the goods sold and on this section right what I've done is simply taken all the other expenses added them all up and put them into this cell so that I can then take the gross profit here add any other income received subtract all the expenses and I get my profit or loss before taxes here I can enter the amount for any taxes and here I can then say OK. I can now subtract the taxes from the profit or loss of the period before the taxes, and I'm going to be ending up with the profit or loss after taxes. Fine. So let's go to our information and see what we've got. In, on January the 1st, they had £3,000 worth of inventory. During the year, they sold £65,000 of materials, purchased £20,000 of materials, and had 4,500 of materials in inventory at the end of the year. OK, the first thing I want is the sales revenue, which is how much did they sell? And we can see that they sold 65000 and of course my gross profit because I haven't got any cost of goods sold at the moment is appearing as 65,000. Let's take these figures then that we're going to need for the cost of goods sold. At the start of the year we have 3,000. That's our inventory at the start. We purchase 20,000. And we then have 4,500 left at the end of the year. So we now have our gross profit, right? Our cost of goods sold was 18,500. So I subtract my 18,500 from my 65,000 and of course I get the gross profit, the 46,500. So I've effectively now entered all the information I needed from, from that first section. OK, what about the next section? Well, this refers to our expenses. We have wages and salaries. 16,000 rates 5,000 electricity and gas 1,500 telephone and internet 500 you can see it's adding these up as I go along and 1400 on office supplies those are the only expenses we've got listed so they come to 24,400 we subtract that from the gross profit and we have 22,100 okay now I have to calculate my taxes so my profit or loss for the period before the taxes will be 22,100 and I have some taxes to pay which will be equal to that multiplied by it would be equal to my profit or loss before taxes multiplied by 23% which comes to 5,083 leaving me with a profit or loss after taxes of 17,017 if you just want to look at that formula again if I go up here I take the profit and loss for the period 
before taxes, it's a profit of 22,100, and I multiply by 23% because it says in this little box here that that's the amount of tax I'm paying. I'm paying 23% of tax on the profit for the period. So that then is a nice simple income statement and how to use information and enter it into the income statement to give you gross profit, profit and loss before taxes, and profit and loss after taxes. Thank you for listening and watching.